Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to study about the second method of proofs, which is called as proof by contraposition. So let us write down the title here, proof by contraposition. Proof by contraposition. So we know that P implies Q. This implication statement is equivalent to saying that negation Q implies negation P. What is the meaning of negation Q implies negation P? Means I have to assume negation Q and I have to prove negation P. Okay, so we will solve now the upcoming problems by using this technique. So let us look at the first question. Prove that if 3n plus 2 is odd, then n is odd. So in this question, this 3n plus 2 is odd is in the if part. So I will write answer. If P, then Q. So this is the P part and this is the Q part. Who is P here? P is 3n plus 2 is odd. Then Q is n is odd so now in when i have to prove this i have to solve this problem by using method of contraposition okay according to the method of contraposition what you should assume is assume negation q now we will not assume p and prove q that is called direct method okay i will repeat assume p and try to prove q that is called direct method but if I want to prove by method of contraposition, what am I supposed to assume? I will assume negation Q. Assume negation Q. Means what will I assume? Assume that N is even because negation of Q is odd. N is odd means N is even. And what am I supposed to prove? I'm supposed to prove that negation P. What is negation P? means I have to prove that 3n plus 2 is even. Now I will start with my assumption and I will try to prove that 3n plus 2 is even. So since n is even because I've started with my assumption, this means that n can be written in the form of 2k where k is integer. So we know something about n. Now we want to discuss about what? We want to discuss about 3n plus 2. So I will consider 3n plus 2. I will simplify 3n plus 2 and I will show that 3n plus 2 is also even. Means 3n plus 2 must be 2 times something, right? So consider 3n plus 2, which is equal to 3 into n is 2k plus 2 which is 6k plus 2, which is 2 times something. Remember, we want to prove it even, right? So it is 2 times something. Let us write that something here. What is that? This 3k plus 1. And this 3k plus 1, I'm going to call as k dash. What is k dash here? k dash is 3k plus 1. k is integer. 3k plus 1 is also integer. Therefore, k dash is integer and therefore what we have eventually proved is that 3n plus 2 is equal to 2 times k dash and this eventually says that when this k dash is integer this means that 3n plus 2 is even integer 
is this what we wanted to prove is this what we we desired look here we wanted to prove that 3n plus 2 is even and therefore we have proved what we wanted we wanted to prove negation p this is what we wanted and hence proved this means that the statement which we have written here that 3n plus 2 is odd then n is odd we have proved it by which method we have proved it by method of contraposition let me do one more problem so that the idea will be more clear to us let's move to the second problem question two show that if n plus if n is an integer if n is an odd integer sorry n square is an odd integer then n is odd So that if n square is an odd integer then n is odd so what is if n square is odd integer so this is if this is p then n is odd this is q so what is p here p is n square is odd q is n is odd we have to prove this particular problem by using method of contraposition okay so assume in the method of contraposition what should you assume you should assume negation q and you should prove negation p it means i am supposed to prove that i'm ass i'm assuming that n is even and i have to prove that n square is even so now since uh, now since n is even we can say that n is equal to what n is of the form 2k where k is what k is an integer right so therefore i will calculate n square because we want something about n square so what is n square n square is 2k square and which is equal to 4k square and which I can write as 2 times 2k square because I want to write it as 2 times something so 2 times k dash where k dash is integer and therefore we have got that n square is 2 times k dash and therefore we can now declare that n square is what n square is even integer so this is what we wanted to prove because this was uh, nothing but this was negation p right so here you have negation p you wanted to prove negation p means n square is even integer therefore negation p is proved and what had we assumed our assumption was negation q we assumed and proved negation p and therefore by method of contraposition we have proved that we have proved this theorem or this problem okay uh, let's take one more problem let me take the third question prove that if n is integer such that in q plus 5 is odd then n is even okay 
Now remember here that this problem is not easy. So if you, if you assume that P is what is the statement P? P is that n cube is odd. Okay. This is given to you. Okay. And what is Q? Q is the statement n is what? n is even. Okay. Then P implies Q means assume P assume P is or assume this is odd and proving n is even is not easy. Okay, so by direct method, you're writing this as a note. Okay, by direct method, that is P implies Q is not easy. Okay, assume that n cube plus five is uh, odd and try to prove that n is even. It is not very easy to show this, right? So in this case, what do you use? We use the method of contraposition. So we use method of contraposition. What is the method of contraposition say? The method of contraposition says that assume negation Q. That is assume Assume n is odd. Negation of n is even is n is odd. And try to prove, and try to prove n q plus 5 is even. Right? Negation, I'm trying to prove this is what? This is negation of p. Right? So I will start with the assumption what is the assumption the assumption is that n is odd since n is odd this means how can i write an odd integer i can write it in the form of 2k plus 1 where k is an integer and now we will try to calculate n cube plus 5 and show that n cube plus 5 is what n cube plus 5 is even right so consider n cube plus 5 remember we want to show that n cube plus 5 is what even means we want to show that n cube plus 5 is two times something okay so what is n cube plus 5 equal to let us write the calculations here what is n cube plus 5 which is equal to 2k plus 1 whole cube plus 5. Okay. What is a plus b whole cube? a plus b whole cube is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. So we'll use this formula. a cube means 2k cube plus 3 times a square means 2k square into 1 plus 3 times. 2k into 1 square plus 1 cube plus 5 as it is right so the next step will be equal to now what this equal to 8k cube plus 3 into 4 is 12 k square plus 6k plus 6 1 plus 5 is 6 so can I take a two common from all of these people? So two is there. Why well, I'm taking two common? Because I want to show that it is what? It is even. So I want two times something. Okay, whatever the, the things remain, I will put inside the bracket. 4k cube plus 6k square plus 3k plus 3. And this is I'm going to call 2k dash. Where what is k dash? This k dash is this big number which I don't care because it is some integer. So this is again some integer. So we have proved that in Q plus five is two K dash or some K dash in Z. And this means that in Q plus five is even. In Q plus five is even integer, okay? means we have proved negation p is proved so we started with negation q 
and we have ended up with negation of p.